Hi and welcome to the explanation of my take of um, Waving the Aces by Guy Hollingworth. He's uh, the creator of the effect and the technique used. And yeah, let's start with uh, four aces distributed somewhere in the deck. <coughs> and while you are talking, you up job um, every single ace. And then, as you spread them out, you obtain a break underneath the um, top face-up card. Add them, add the aces to the uh, top face-up card, and take the little packet above the break, so that you have added one indifferent card to the four aces. Okay, you start with the packet face. Uh, up in your left hand dealer's grip and you count them reverse that means you take uh, the top piece to, to the right hand and the next card comes on top and uh, with the third ace you down jog them a little bit this is exaggerated and the last card which is a double you just put them on top okay then you turn the little picket face down. You have the down drop here. And you push up on the down drop so that you have now a break uh, underneath three cards. Okay, underneath three aces. And you just um, perform a triple lift. For the spectator it should look like as if you turn over only one card face up and um, after the turnover you obtain a break underneath the three aces again. Okay, then here you have a break. And you take the three cards and side jog them to the right. Okay, and the situation is you have here three face up aces and here the face down cards with the last ace uh, on the bottom all right so in this situation you take this packet in your left hand um, the left side should be in the crotch of your palm and your first finger should be on on the first front and the middle and ring finger are uh, on the rightmost edge and the pinky is just uh, remaining here underneath. All right. And what you're doing, you're pressing slightly with your left thumb down so that you are able to slide the two face up cards underneath the top card to the left. All right. I will do it now slowly and square these two cards with the two face down cards. Okay, so you have pushed um, two other face up cards to the left so that you end up with uh, this face up card and actually two face up other cards and these two face down cards alright so again you start with this position three face up aces and two face down cards align the left edge uh, with this area of your palm your first finger should be uh, on the outer edge to keep them square middle finger and ring finger are protruding to the right edge and from the bottom it should look like this You're pushing them to the left and all all is happening while you are shaking the cards all right one more time uh, you begin in this situation as you have a break underneath the face down cards you turn them over 
uh, obtain a break again, slide the three card packet to the right and re-grip the packet so that you are able to perform the move. Okay, this is the first move. Now you take the packet in the middle grip and uh, do a Scania-like spread from the bottom. One, two, all right. Then the second card, underneath the second card, there is another card face up already, all right. Now you perform Guy Hollings Hollingworth's um, optical aligning move, which works. It's actually almost the same as the move before, but you slide uh, two cards, uh, actually visually, to the left. You have the left thumb touching the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Clubs, and underneath you are sliding two cards to the left, the King of Hearts, and this, um, this card underneath the Ace of Clubs. Right. So from from the spectator's view, it should look like this. You press down again with the face, uh, with the thumb down, so that it reveals another ace face up, the ace of spades. Okay. So. After the first move you end up like this, you do the Escanio spread like move and from underneath it looks like this. You press down with your thumb touching the Ace of Hearts and Ace of Clubs, which is very very important and underneath you are sliding with your ring and middle finger the King of Hearts and the face of cards which should be the Ace of Spades face up. Okay, the King of Hearts is now hidden uh, or hiding uh, the back of the Ace of Diamonds when you look from above. Okay, one more time. So you end up, after the first phase, you end up in this position. You slide the bottom two face down cards to the left, re grip the packet and perform the optical aligning move while you're waving. Okay, now you're in this position and um, you talk about that you can do it also the other way around but uh, an important point is that you are able to show the last ace still face down which is in this case the ace of diamonds and uh, openly you turn over the um, top three face up cards and uh, face up aces face down and perform another Ascanio like spread but you spread the top card with your thumb with your left thumb to the right and spread the bottom two cards to the left okay again the second card is the double from beneath it should look like this and uh, you turn the ace of diamonds bottommost card face up because you want to show it uh, the other way around that the face up card is uh, turning face down while you are waving the aces and you perform again another um, optical aligning move that's it Okay, you're in this position, the second card is a double. Uh, again, you are touching with your left thumb the top and the second card, and underneath you are sliding the King of Hearts and the Ace of Hearts to the left until the King of Hearts is um, squared with the bottommost card, like this. Okay. So from top it looks like this. So again, one more time. You're in this position. You're waving, and as you're waving, you are sliding the cards to the left. So now you have uh, 
for the spectator or Ace Ace are face down now. You obtain a break underneath the top three cards to perform a triple lift again, but out jogged. Leave it out jogged. And now um, you have the Ace of Hearts on top and two other aces also face up and the goal is to push with your first finger the uh, face up aces underneath and make it square with the bottom packet okay so for that you just spread the ace away to the left so that you can reach with your first finger the other two aces and just push them down Okay, so now you spread uh, all the cards singly, the Ace of Hearts. Take the next card underneath the Ace of Hearts. And now you perform a pinky pull down and leave the Ace of Spades with another, with an indifferent card underneath it, squared. And put the last Ace on top of it and put it on it face down deck and you should be clean okay all the aces face up this was the indifferent card the king of hearts which we used and the deck is face down um, anyways so and the last kicker you can um, show that it also works with the whole deck as you spread and close the spread you obtain a break underneath the face up aces and perform a half pass and say yeah you can also do it with the whole deck shake it and show 